natural language processing is a rapidly evolving field that relies heavily on machine learning techniques and deep neural networks and to master this field understanding the fundamental components of neural network such as activation function loss function and optimizers is crucial so in this video we'll delve into the world of python programming and showcase code snippets that illustrates the functioning and application of these essential components in deep learning so let's get started with understanding what is an activation function Basically these activation functions are used in artificial neural network to introduce non linearity into the model which enable it to learn and represent complex relations between the inputs and outputs so basically there are three commonly used activation functions which is the relu 10h and sigmoid so let's understand what is a relu or the rectified linear unit first now this relu or the rectified linear unit function it outputs the input if it is positive otherwise it results it as a zero it is computationally efficient and helps avoid the vanishing gradient problem so this code snippet defines a function called relu in python which calculates the rectified linear unit activation of a given input x relu is a popular activation function in deep learning that sets all negative values to zero and leaves the positive values unchanged and this code then generates an array of input values x applies the relu activation function to these values and stores the result in the result array and finally the code prints the resulting array then comes the code for the sigmoid function we know the sigmoid outputs a value between 0 and 1 for any real valued input it's useful for problems where the output should be a probability or the value between the 0 and 1 Now this code snippet it defines a function called sigmoid in python which calculates the sigmoid function of a given input x now this sigmoid function is a s s shaped curve and is commonly used in deep learning as a activation function for neural network layers now this code then prints the sigmoid functions output for three different inputs 0 2 and minus 3 and these specific input values are chosen to demonstrate the sigmoid's function behavior as the output for 0 is approximately 0.5 that is half activated now 2 results in the highly activated output close to 1 and when we use the minus 3 then it results in a weakly activated output close to 0 then comes 10h or hyperbolic tangent now this hyperbolic tangent is similar to sigmoid but it outputs a value between minus 1 and 1 it is also used in neural network but it is less popular than relu and sigmoid function now this code snippet will define a function called 10h in python which calculates the hyperbolic tangent of a given input x it then generates an array of input values x passes those values to the 10h function and stores the result in the result array and finally the code prints the resulting array then comes the losses now we know this loss functions are used to evaluate the difference between the predicted output and the true output in the neural network and basically there are three commonly used loss functions first is the mean squared error now this mean squared error measures the average square difference between the true values and the predicted values that is y prime it's a popular choice for regression problems and this code snippets define a function called msc in python which calculates the mean squared error loss for a given set of true values that is y true and predicted values that is y prime and this function calculates the loss by first subtracting the true values from the predicted values squaring the difference and then taking the mean of those squared errors then comes cross entropy loss now this cross entropy loss is a commonly used loss function for classification problem it measures the difference between the predicted probabilities and the true labels and this code snippet defines a function called cross entropy in python which calculates the cross entropy loss for a given set of true labels that is y true and predicted probabilities that is y prime now this function calculates the loss by first multiplying the true labels by the logarithmic of this predicted probabilities with a small added epsilon to avoid numerical instability when taking the logarithmic of 0 for the false labels it multiplies the that is 1 minus true labels by the logarithmic of the predicted complement probabilities that is 1 minus y prime also with the added epsilon then it sums the resulting products and takes the negative average then comes categorical uh, 
क्रॉस एंट्रोपी नाउ दिस कैटेगोरिकल क्रॉस एंट्रोपी इज अ वेरिएंट ऑफ क्रॉस एंट्रोपी यूज्ड फॉर मल्टी क्लास क्लासिफिकेशन प्रॉब्लम इट कैलकुलेट्स द क्रॉस एंट्रोपी फॉर ईच सैंपल एंड एवरेजेस देम नाउ दिस कोड स्टेपेट डिफाइंस अ फंक्शन कॉल्ड कैटेगोरिकल क्रॉस एंट्रोपी इन पाइथन व्हिच कैलकुलेट्स द कैटेगोरिकल क्रॉस एंट्रोपी लॉस फॉर अस गिवन सेट ऑफ ट्रू लेबल्स एंड प्रेडिक्टेड प्रोबेबिलिटीज दिस फंक्शन कैलकुलेट्स द लॉस बाय फर्स्ट मल्टीप्लाइंग द ट्रू लेबल्स बाय द logarithmic of the predicted probabilities with a small added epsilon to avoid numerical instability when taking the logarithmic of 0 then it sums the resulting product along the specified axis and finally it takes the negative average of this sum then comes the optimizers basically optimizers also called as learning algorithms are used to adjust the model's parameter that is weights and biases based on the calculated losses and there are four commonly used optimizers so let's understand what is gradient descent optimizer first now this gradient descent is a simple optimization algorithm that iteratively updates the weights that is theta to minimize the loss and here the learning rate or the alpha determines the step size in the weight space now this code snippet defines a function called gradient descent in python which performs gradient descent optimization on a set of parameters that is theta this function takes four arguments theta which are the initial model parameters x which is the design parametrics with uh, y which is the target vector and alpha which is the learning rate and the function updates the model parameters by subtracting the product of the learning rate the gradient of the cost function and the transpose of the design matrix divided by the number of data points in the target vector from the original parameters now the gradient of the cost function is calculated by taking the dot product of the design matrix and original parameters and subtracting the target vector then comes momentum now this momentum adds a velocity term to the weight updates which helps the optimization escape local minima and converge faster here the learning rate alpha and the decay rate beta can be adjusted to control the optimization and this code snippet defines a custom momentum optimizer class in python which is used to optimize the parameters of a deep learning model here the momentum optimizer class has two instances alpha and beta which are the learning rate and the momentum factor respectively it also has a instance variable velocity used to store the current momentum here the update method is used to adjust the model parameters theta based on the current momentum the learning rate and the gradient of the cost function it updates the momentum by multiplying the previous momentum with the momentum factor adding the new gradient scale by the learning rate and then it updates the model parameters by subtracting the new momentum from the original weights then comes nestor of accelerated gradient or the nag now this nag is a variant of momentum that estimates the gradient using a predicted weights instead of current weights and this can help the optimization converge faster now this code snippet defines a custom nag optimizer class in python which is used to optimize the parameters of a deep learning model here the nag optimizer has two instance variables alpha and beta which are a learning rate and momentum factor respectively it also has a instance variable velocity used to store the current momentum here the update method is used to adjust the model parameters theta based on the current momentum the learning rate and the gradient of the cost function it first predicts the new weights by subtracting the current momentum scaled by the learning rate from the original weights then it updates the momentum using the previous momentum and the new gradient scaled by the learning rate and the momentum factor and finally it updates the model parameters using the new momentum and then comes adam optimizer we know this adam or the adaptive moment estimation is a widely used optimization algorithm that adapts the learning rate for each weight by maintaining separate estimates of the first and second moments of the gradients and this adaptive nature can lead to faster convergence and better performance compared to other optimization methods now this code snippet defines a custom adam optimizer class in python which is used to optimize the parameters of a deep learning model here the adam optimizer class has a single instance variable alpha which is the new learning rate it also has three instance variables m v and t which are used to store the first and second moments of the gradients and the iteration number respectively here the update method is used to adjust the model parameters theta 
based on the current gradients and stored moment estimates and this method updates the moment estimates and the iteration counts calculates the update direction using the estimate moments and the learning rate and updates the model parameters and finally it returns the updated model parameters thank you